Well, back home in Ada County, busy day at the courthouse. Five witnesses testified in Chad Daybell's triple murder trial in court today, including law enforcement officers, a former friend, and a relative of Chad's wife, Lori Vallow Daybell. Chad is accused of killing and conspiring to kill two of Lori's kids, JJ and Tylee, and his first wife, Tammy. And our Morgan Romero was in the courtroom all day. Morgan, what evidence and testimony did jurors see in here? Brenda and Joe, multiple crimes related to this case were covered today from the attempted killing of Lori's niece's ex-husband in Arizona to the death of Tammy Daybell in Rexburg. Jurors saw pictures of Tammy lying on her bed dead, and they heard from the officer who responded to her death in October of 2019. The officer said she didn't think anything was suspicious at the time, and the family didn't want an autopsy. Tammy's body was later exhumed two months later. The coroner determined she died from asphyxiation. Jurors also heard the 911 call Chad and his son made after finding Tammy. While this call played in court, I saw Chad show emotion for the first time during this trial. He appeared to be crying, shaking his head, wiping his eyes. Here's a portion of that call. Hello, I'm Chad, the husband. Um, she's clearly dead. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's not even frozen. Right. Okay. We'll get somebody out to you, okay? I'm so sorry. Okay. If you need anything else, you call me back, okay? Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Jurors also heard from the Fremont County Sheriff's deputy who responded to the attempted paintball gun shooting of Tammy just days before she died. And they heard Tammy's 911 call reporting that shooting. Brandon Boudreaux, the ex-husband of Lori's niece, Melanie Pulowski, testified before lunch. In a separate case, Lori is also charged with conspiring to kill Brandon in Gilbert, Arizona in October of 2019. As law enforcement investigated his attempted murder, Brandon testified he gave them emails he found from Chad to Melanie with info about dark spirits and his dark rating on a light and dark scale. Jurors heard from the Gilbert detective who investigated Lori's brother, Alex Cox, for attempting to murder Brandon. The officer went over the timeline of when and why the focus of their investigation turned to the missing children. One of the last people to see J.J. alive first took the stand this morning, continuing his testimony from yesterday. David Warwick thought Chad was quiet, meek, humble, until Chad told David's wife not to answer the phone when law enforcement called looking for the missing kids. Do you happen to recall anything else that you told to Detective Hermosillo in that interview about your feelings about Chad? Yes. What else do you recall? That he was manipulative. Can you explain what you meant to Detective Hermosillo when you use the word manipulative? Like, he gets, uh, gets people's confidence, and then he uses that confidence for, for his favor. Much of what was presented today was the same evidence presented during Lori's trial last year. Court ended early today. It'll begin tomorrow with a new witness on the stand. Back to you.